Hi, welcome to ChemTube channel. Today we are going to discuss how to calculate the oxidation number for the elements in the compound. Let's start. Okay, now we look at some rules for calculation of the oxidation number of the elements. So first rule, the oxidation number of a simple ions is the charge of the ions. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, for example, like sodium ions, the charge is plus 1. So the oxidation number for the sodium will be plus 1. Magnesium, Mg2+, plus, meaning that the oxidation number is plus 2. Then aluminium ions will be plus 3. Then chloride ions will be minus 1. Oxide ions will be minus 2. Nitrate ions will be minus 3. Okay, so this is the first rule. Second one, the sum of the oxidation number of a polyatomic ions is equal to the charge of the polyatomic ions. So meaning that the sum, the total, total uh, oxidation number for the polyatomic ions is the charge of the uh, polyatomic ions. So meaning that manganate, for example, MnO4 minus 1. So the total charge will be minus 1. Okay. So how about chromate 6 will be minus 2. Sulfate will be minus 2. Okay. Number 3. The oxidation number of the atoms of the elements will be 0. For example, sodium will be 0. Bromine atom, uh, bromine molecule will be 0 also. Okay. Because when they exist in the bromine gas will be molecule. Okay, number four. The sum of the oxidation number of a compound equal to zero. So meaning that the total total sodium chloride is zero. Okay. Carbon dioxide is zero. Sulfuric acid is zero. So meaning that now is a to to total huh? the sum. In some special cases, okay, number one. All group 1 elements, it has a negative uh, oxidation number of plus 1. For example, element is of sodium yeah, in sodium chloride. So sodium is a group 1, so it's plus 1. Elements of K, potassium in K2O, so also plus 1. Okay. Then all group 2 elements would be plus 2. Lah. For example, magnesium plus 2, calcium plus 2. And all group 3 elements, it has the oxidation number of plus 3, okay? Should be group 13, huh? group 13. So like aluminium will be plus 3, okay? Group 17, halogen, huh? it has the oxidation number of minus 1, huh? minus 1. So for example, chloride so be minus 1, bromide minus 1, okay? Chloride uh, here also minus one. Then oxygen, or it has the oxidation number of minus in most of its compound, okay, except the hydrogen peroxide. Uh. So the O here will be minus two. This okay, so for elements of O in the hydrogen peroxide, let's calculate. So H2O2 okay equals to zero. So H is plus 1 times 2 plus O, they are 2 O, okay, equals to 0. Okay, plus 2, plus 2 O equals to 0. So plus, uh, so 2 O equals to minus 2. So O will be minus 1. So element oxide, uh, oxygen in the hydrogen peroxide will be minus 1 only. So take note of this. After that, uh, hydrogen, it has the uh, oxidation number of plus 1 uh, of, uh, in the most of its compound, uh, except the metal hydrates. Uh. Okay, so normally, it will be plus 1, okay, except the metal hydrates. Okay, let's calculate this one. So, magnesium hydro hydrates uh, equals to 0. So, H2, 2H now. Uh, magnesium is plus 2 okay so equals to 0 so 2H 
is um, minus 2 so H will be minus 1 so hydrogen uh, it has a negative minus 1 uh, oxidation number in the hydrates metal hydrates uh, so you take note on this okay but it's not that popular in the uh, SPM level now we look at some example on the calculation of oxidation number let's say for sulfur in the sulfuric acid here okay so we write down sulfuric acid okay the total is zero right okay equals to zero so hydrogen normally is plus one okay then times two plus the sulfur okay plus oxide oxygen normally is minus two times four equal to zero okay so plus two plus s minus eight equals to zero so uh, plus s minus six uh, equals to zero so s you shift the uh, minus six to the right hand side so equals to plus six so this is the oxidation number for sulfur in the sulfuric acid okay next we look into this example the bromide uh, bromide in the bromate ions so again the same bromate br all three minus one uh. so minus one meaning that it will becomes minus one okay yeah so here is the minus uh. so bromide we need to calculate the bromide okay oxide normally is minus two times three equals to minus one okay so bromide minus six equals to minus one okay we shift the uh, minus six to the right hand side so it becomes a plus six uh, right so minus one plus six so equals to plus five so this is the answer now we try to calculate the oxidation number for underlying elements here so here is a sulfur s so we need to find the s oxide normally is minus two times three equals to there is no charge so zero so s minus six equals to zero so s is plus six okay so the answer will be plus six okay next let let oxide uh. we don't know we need to find out the pb eh? so we need to find the pb oxide is minus two there are two of it so equals to zero then that is minus four so is zero so shift the minus four to the right hand side so it becomes plus four so here is lead four plus four okay about the n nitrogen uh, so h is plus one plus uh, n and plus oxide is negative two times three equals to zero so plus one plus n minus six equals to zero so n is minus five equals to zero so we shift the minus five to the right hand side we n will be plus five so here will be plus five okay next phosphate nah? phosphate so we need to find out p plus o o will be minus two times four equals to okay now no more zero uh, because it has a charge will be minus three okay so p minus eight equals to minus three so if you shift the negative eight to the right hand side so it becomes p equals to minus uh, three plus eight so it will be plus five okay so plus five how about this? Uh, this one is very popular, huh? Okay, 
okay so k is plus one because group one plus peak at mn outside is minus two times four equals to zero no charge so m uh, plus one plus mn minus eight equals to zero so here we know that minus seven right mn minus 7 equals to 0 so minus 7 we shift to the right so it becomes mn is plus 7 okay so plus 7 okay so vanadium oxide okay so v2 so 2v eh? v times 2 lah, oh. plus all oxide is negative 2 times 5 okay equals to 0 so 2v minus 10 equals to 0. So we we'll shift the minus to the right. So it will be 2v equals to plus 10. Okay, then this one times, right? Divide. So shift to the right will be divide by 2 should be plus 5. Okay, so that is why normally we mention is vanadium 5 oxide. So that is oxidation number okay so ammonium okay n plus h is plus one times four equals to plus one okay so n plus four equals to plus one or we'll shift the uh, plus four to the right will be n equals to plus one minus four so it'll be minus 3 so meaning that the os oxidation number for the nitrogen in the ammonium will be ni negative 3 ok let's see chromium ok so CR plus O oxide is negative 2 times 4 equals to minus 2 so CR minus 8 equals to minus 2 so minus 8 will shift to the right so it becomes CR minus 2 plus 8 no? so equals to plus 6 so meaning set here chromium will be plus 6 ok how about the I hydrogen will be H plus 1 plus C we need to find then outside will be minus 2 times 3 equals to minus 1 ok so here C will be minus 6 plus 1 will be minus 5 equals to minus 1 so we shift the minus 5 here so it becomes C minus 1 plus 5 so it will be plus 4 okay, so plus 4 yeah, but the copper 2 sulfate this sulfur Cu normally is plus 2 lah. Okay. Then plus uh, sulfur is S. Plus X. Plus oxide is minus 2 times 4. So um, equals to 0. So here plus 2 plus S minus 8 equals to 0 so meaning that uh, s minus 6 equals to 0 so shift the minus 6 plus 6 so be plus 6 ok how about the, uh, this one oxide is minus 2 plus cl cl okay, equals to minus 1 ok that meaning that uh, Cl is minus 1 plus 2 so meaning that plus 1 okay so sometimes the halogens uh, it can be plus 1 uh, so we have to calculate okay then finally this one okay potassium is K K plus 1 times 4 plus the Fe iron okay plus c cn uh, okay we assume this one cn is uh, 
just see that right so this one is minus one huh? okay so minus one times six equals to zero okay so plus four plus iron minus six equals to zero so iron minus uh, two equals to zero so iron becomes plus two so meaning set this one is plus two Okay, next, let's calculate the, the oxidation number of the following elements. Okay, sulfur in the S or 3. Yeah? Okay, again, sulfur is S. Plus O is oxide. Yeah? Negative 2 times 3 equals to 0. So S minus 6 equals to 0. So S here will be plus 6. Okay, yeah. How about this one? Back 4. So, okay, PB oxide uh, times 2 equals to 0. So, PB will be plus 4. Okay, bromine in the bromate uh, 6, bromate 5. Okay, so BR plus O negative 2 times 3 equals to minus 1. So bromine minus 6 equals to minus 1. So Br equals to minus 1 plus 5 uh, plus 6. So meaning set plus 5. Okay. Iron 2 high oxide. Iron 2 oxide. So Fe. So there are 2. Oxide is negative 2 times 3 equals to 0. So 2 Fe. Minus 6 equals to 0. Fe equals to plus 6. So Fe should be uh, plus 3. Okay, plus 3. So actually, this number should be wrong. Eh? So it should be iron 3. Eh? Okay, next. Manganet. Nah? So Mn. Side is negative 2 times 4 equals to minus 1. So Mn minus 8 equals to minus 1. So shift the minus 8. Mn minus 1 plus 8. So it will be plus 7. Okay, then next phosphorus. Okay, so phosphorus. So P plus oxide is negative 2 times 4 equals to minus 3. So P minus 8 equals to minus 3. So P minus 3 plus 8. So B plus 5. Okay. okay. Next, we are going to learn how to name based on the oxidation number. Okay. So let's say here, elements couple, uh, oxidation number is plus 2. So here the formula. So how should we name this uh, compound? So we if we know that the oxidation number is plus 2, so we can name it copper 2. Okay, outside we use the Roman. Okay. And how about this? Lead plus 4. So be lead 4 outside. Okay. And how about this? Iron plus 2. So iron 2 chloride. Okay. Or ferrum. So this one will be iron 3 chloride. Okay, next the chloride. Okay, in the NSCL or okay, this one is uh, uh, not that common. This one actually is a sodium. Hypochlorite. Okay. okay. Next is this. This one is a potassium nitrate. Nah? Potassium nitrate. 
okay, 5. But normally we just write potassium nitrate. Okay, next is be calcium sulfate. Okay, calcium sulfate. Okay, 6. But normally we also write calcium sulfate only. Lah. Okay, then next this one will be potassium dichromate 6. Okay, because the chromate will be 2 here. Chromium. Eh? So dichromate. So be potassium dichromate 6. Okay. And then this one, only one chromium, so it'll be potassium. Chromate. Okay, six. Okay, so next, finally, will be potassium manganate seven. Okay, potassium manganate seven. Okay, now we look at some past year question. Okay, twenty uh, two zero eight. Eh? The manufacture of sulfuric acid in the content process involves the following step. Okay. Which of the following shows the correct sequence of the change in the oxidation number of the sulfur? So we have to see. Lah. Okay, see here is sulfur. Sulfur is uh, an atom here. So is sulfur will be zero. Okay. Then sulfur dioxide. So we have to see. Lah. Sulfur dioxide is SO2. So SO2 equals to zero. So S Okay, plus O is minus 2 times 2 equals to 0. So S is minus 4 equals to 0. So S is plus 4. So meaning that this one will be plus 4. So this one is 0. Huh? Okay, so A and B are already. Huh? Okay, then sulfur trioxide. So SO3 equals to 0. So S plus oxide. Huh? Times 3 equals to 0. So S equals to plus 6. So plus 6. Okay. So still correct. So this one plus 6. So finally is hydrogen sulf uh, sulfuric acid actually. So H2SO4 equals to 0. H is plus 1 times 2. S outside S negative 2 times 4 equals to 0. So plus 2 plus S minus 8 equals to 0. So uh, S minus 6 equals to 0. So S is plus 6. So plus 6. So C will be the answer. Okay, no plus A now. Okay, next, let's see other questions. Okay, number 8 here, 22009. Eh? Okay, what is the oxidation number for chromium in here? So, what is the CR? Eh? So, this one actually in the exercise just now we calculate already. So, K2CRO4 equals to 0. Eh? K is potassium plus 1 times 2 plus CR plus oxide is negative 2 times 4 equals to 0. So, plus 2 plus CR minus 8 equals to 0. So CR minus 6. So CR will be plus 6. So it will be A. Okay, next question. Okay, 2010. Eh? So why is the oxidation number for the X in the X2 or 3? So X2, so uh, we write first. X two O three equals to minus two. Okay. Mm. So X we two X plus O is negative two times three equals to minus two. So two X minus six equals to minus two. So shift the minus six to the right hand side. So two X will be minus two plus six so be plus four. So X will be plus two. So B plus 2 will be A. Okay. Then how about this? Dichromate. Uh? Dichromate. Okay, 6. So 
here just now we uh, calculate already so you can revise back the video so be plus six actually okay so that's all about the calculation of the oxidation number in in the compound okay so i hope that you can practice more and then later on we are going to use this one uh, in the determining the oxidation and a reduction